I heard about the Fatherless Generation Foundation actually um, while doing an Uber job um, from Barry. Um, his last name Frazier. He um, he actually went through the process. He, he just we were just small talking, and him hearing uh, my conversation, and then I guess the passion that I spoke about behind my child. He instantly provided the information, which I think that was definitely a godsend or a blessing <laughs> in, in the old. So yes, that's how I heard about Father's Generation. The issue was I never had the opportunity to see my son at all, um, nor spend any time with him. I had no knowledge or anything about him, aside from this, that he just in the world after he was born. And um, I, I was met with a lot of difficulties with trying to deal with it. So I was pretty much at my wit's end with a lot of frustration, not really knowing the directions to go. And, um, you know, I, I can sound like a broken record, but it was definitely a godsend thing that we had that small talk conversation for him to then introduce me here to give me the ability to now have a relationship with him. I had, uh, I had no time with him by um, no speaking with him over the phone, no ability to actually see him physically. If I, if I do end up getting an opportunity to see him physically, it is more of a, a guarded situation where I'm not allowed to spend time with him, right? His mother has to be present and it's a controlled situation. So it was no, it was literally no access to my child at all, zero. You know, it was just more of a, a tease here and there. You know, I, I may get access for a moment and I may not. Emotionally, I was, um, emotionally, I was wrecked, right? Mentally, I was, um, I was clouded and frustrated, right? Um, generally questioning my choice of um, who I decided to be a child with, almost even questioning myself, right? Because of not understanding why I had no access to my child. Like I have a good relationship with my daughter, so there shouldn't have been any problem with that, you know? Um, and I'm, it, it, it almost made me question my character, which I had to step back and think about it for a moment that I, there is absolutely no reason for that to happen. So I had to um, remove personal reasons from the situation and. Um, you know, through working through the program, it, it opened up avenues for me to be able to now have a, a definitely consistent relationship where beforehand it was very uh, temperamental. With working with yourself and the fathers, fatherless generation, it was, um, it, it, it it, it gave me guidance, right? I was able to get knowledge on things that I had no knowledge before. Um, I was able to get the help um, from lawyers, well, too, to be able to, um, you know, put certain things in place where I actually had, um, I had a parenting plan. I was able to get something tangible to to where I was able to hold his mom accountable to, to be able to spend time with him. As well as, um, you know, I, I was also given access to different programs in case of uh, maybe something that may be helpful parenting or even uh, a mindset around being a co-parent as well. Attorney Precious Heller was um, actually very helpful. Um, you know, from the fact of filing and, and continuously making the time to come to court while I know that she may even have other cases going on and, you know, to, to come and assist me. Um, she was very, she communicated very well, um, especially when it came to the fact of um, me having like adjustments to the parental agreement. She was very open to my suggestions and was also very candid with me. So I didn't have any false expectations as well. My relationship with my father is is good, right? Um, I'm from a different background, so um, I would say that the, the, the time periods were a bit different, right? But it, it it gave me examples of what I wanted to be as a father, right? Any areas where I may have felt any any missings or any things that I actually admired in my father, I wanted to make sure I, I pass it on to to my kids in general, and also. Um, I would also account for my mom as well, right? You know, it, it showed a well of, of how parenting should be and how important it is to be a part of your child's life. I would definitely say go with it because I'm, I definitely, uh, the push, I've even called you before, like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm at my wit's end with this. It, does, it doesn't make any sense. And, you know, I, I was reinforced to say, you know, like, you know, again, expectations set to where I didn't think it was going to happen in a blink of an eye, right? I was able to 
get the patients that I needed to get the resolution. And granted that things aren't 100% perfect, but I'm able to see my son. I'm able to spend time with him. And, um, you know, that's worth more than anything to me at, at this point. So, again, I, you know, I would forever be grateful to Fatherless Generation, that the entire series, you know, working with Precious, um, you know, my conversation in the car, it was definitely, um, it, it just felt like a well made storm, honestly. That's that. That's that's my little guy, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, this is good. We spend time together. Well, when I do have him, I do have to, you know I do different activities with them. Um, it, it is uh, it's perfect, actually. You know, I love spending time with him. Um, I'm loving to learn him and uh, not feel like you know I'm, I'm loving now that I have learned him. Right. I had to go through the process of relearning him and how to deal with him. So we have a pretty good uh, bond and relationship. Uh, with the situation as it is right now. For the most part, because I have the agreement or the temporary order in place, because the, the permanent one hasn't been signed, right? But it at least creates some accountability where I am able to see him a lot more. Um, and I keep, you know, I'm a lot more peaceful with the fact of moments when it becomes temperamental and he may be held away from me in any sense. But I have a relationship with him, which I never had before, right? which is the important thing for me. I know as time goes on and as he grows, he's his own person. So eventually he'll see things and seek me out in different ways um, if he's presented.